Hey, what's up, guys? Got a quick video, probably not quick, but a video on this uh, truck right here. This is made by Matchbox. It is a 1975 Chevy pickup step side, obviously. Um, so as you can probably already see, you can probably see the customization. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, I didn't buy this truck in a single pack. Um, I got it in a 10 pack. It is not the exclusive to the, the 10 pack. Um, um, they do have these ones in single packs, so you definitely find them now. Basically, um, I'm not one for getting 10 or 5 packs. Um, really don't like it. Um, the only way I get 10 or 5 packs is if there's at least half or more cars that um, I like in there. There at least has to be half of the cars in there that I do like. Um, now um cuz you know I like spending five or ten bucks just getting one matchbox car but then again I also don't have too much of a problem with it cuz um I can't give the rest of my nephew like the ones that I don't like I give to my nephew or whatever you know he likes them um so I do think that there is an upside just depending on how bad I want the car you know depending on how bad I like it you know but really, I never really wanted a car so bad that I had to go out and buy the whole 10 pack, really. What came in this pack was like the International Brush Fire Truck, um, which I could not find in a single pack, um, because, you know, our Walmarts and Target just gets crap. You know, you probably get one good haul every three months, you know, they're really terrible at it. Um, so yeah, and you know, there's a, there's like a Ford GT in there, there's an exclusive, uh, yellow, uh, 1970, uh, Mach 1 Mustang, or it was, no, I don't think it was a Mach 1, it's either a Mach 1 or a Boss, but it's a 1970 Mustang, it was yellow, and it was exclusive to the pack, um, and there's like a Porsche in there, and a couple off-road trucks that I liked, um, those are all packed away in boxes, because I'm going to be moving soon. Um, I don't really need to be packing right now, you know, I'm not going to be moving for months, but, you know, I just decided to get some of the little stuff out the way, so, you know, I'm not going to dig through all those boxes, unpack it, and be back where I was, but, um, just to show you cars that came in it, but, yeah. So, anyways, this truck came in the pack, I didn't pay much attention to it, I didn't even really see it in there at first, um, I didn't quite go over the whole pack. I just saw it in the store. I thought, okay, well, there's about five or six cars that I like in the pack, so let's go ahead and get it. Um, and then after opening it, I saw this. So this here was a truck, and I looked at it, and I thought, oh, wow, this one's not bad in the pack, you know. This one's actually pretty neat. So um, I thought of it as, like, you know, an old farmer pickup truck. But, you know, also when I saw it, I was thinking, you know, also any, just anyone could be driving this too, you know. And I just really wanted it to more portray a farming type vehicle that really would be purposed for farming, you know. So, anyways, what I basically did was, you can see the customization already. I took, um, six toothpicks. Um, you got to do some cutting down on them. Um, I took six toothpicks and basically made a, uh, a, um, bed, a, 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 sorry, a wooden bed, uh, railing system out of it. Um, you know, farmers usually have that, um, sometimes they carry hay in there, or sometimes they may put a goat in there, or a couple goats for a trade, or they have their dog in there, or whatever, and then they have the hay bells and stuff. They don't want them, you know, falling out, you know, because they stack them or, you know, just whatever they're carrying they don't want coming out. So that's basically what that is. And plus, you know, they you rarely saw them in metal either, you know, they don't really do them in metal. So, you know, just caught more. And half of the farmers did it themselves too. They just did the installation themselves. So, um, that's basically what I did. Um, you're, if you're gonna do this, you're gonna want square toothpicks. They're the kind of square ones. They're not uh, round, cause round ones they'll just look totally unrealistic. I mean, it actually makes that much of a difference, you know. So yeah, so you know, get the kind of square type 
toothpicks if you're gonna want to do this um you know they're shaped like a square long ways so yeah that's basically what I did I took six I cut them to size you know um you know uh, each post took one two or two posts came out of one toothpick you know I cut the toothpick in half you know got it where I needed size that cut them you know and, you know I did a rough cut then I glued them in there glue four, all four in there and then on with these since these were such a big portion the side railings were such a big portion um, those each took their own own toothpick so basically I uh, I um, I cut those down to about a rough size glued them on there and then basically took a Dremel put a sander wheel on there and just sanded away the excess um, the excess stuff um, so yeah that was pretty cool it was an easy project it took me about 20 minutes because I did run into a little road bump or whatever in the uh, process of making it I accidentally snapped off one of the uh, posts before um, the glue fully uh, dried um, I just used glue stick glue stick was perfect um, I was going to use testers but I remember with testers you know it's really meant for plastic models you know and really it's not going to do well on that wood on metal you know I mean it do good on wood but gluing the metal testers really isn't meant for you know it's really for plastic models you know it doesn't glue totally that well you know it's basically meant for plastic models to go on the shelf and plus you know it would have taken this thing way longer it would have took it way longer to make this you know waiting for it all to dry and everything you know glue stick you know it dries in about you know each glue stick um totally dries in about two minutes through each application depending on how thick you glued something but you know for this it only took you know a minute for each thing to totally dry you know and stuff so yeah but basically I accidentally snapped them off so if I didn't if I wouldn't have you know made that mistake it probably would only take me 15 minutes you know it's a real fast project so you know if you like this idea go ahead and take it you know I can't stop anyone you know I mean, really it's my you know I mean I'm pretty sure somebody else had the idea but you know you know I'm the first scene really putting this on YouTube so you know, and I kind of bought this to my own attention so you know, I didn't really copy anyone but you know if you like this idea go ahead and take it can't really stop you know and plus you know it looks pretty cool cool way to customize you know I'm just mainly trying to get the uh, bed in the picture What I am looking to do is maybe um, I saw these little uh, I saw these 71 um, Oldsmobile wagons that uh, Matchbox made. I was thinking about getting a couple of those, and one of them I was gonna disassemble, possibly pull one of the pull the one of the dogs out of there once I disassemble it, and then um, putting the dog in the back of here, like gluing it and having its head hanging out. The um, reason why I say I want to is because I want one to keep the way it is and in the second one, you know, to do that project. And then, um, you know, I also kind of like make like little cars that look like junkyard cars. So the one that I do wind up tearing apart for this, you know, uh, it would be a nice addition to the uh, junkyard that I'm going to kind of make. I used to make like little junkyard dioramas. I used to just... Um, for like school you know I used to, um, to put them in shoe boxes you know and I made them for school and stuff when I was a little kid you know and I got really good grades on them you know I painted them all rusted I you know glued uh you know dried up grass at the bottom and stuff like I made like crumble up grass and put like um uh, dirt at the bottom glued it in there just brushed in some glue or whatever and basically I got um, A's on them so that's basically what I'm gonna do you know to that car if I get a dog out of it but you know first I gotta find it and if I still do like the idea of doing it then yeah 
and I kind of do like the idea of doing that so it adds to the feature. Alright, well thank you for watching and that's it.